Welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, let's create a simple Python script with which we can find all the Wi-Fi devices around. Now how would we plan to go ahead and do this? Now if you recall from the Wi-Fi security basics uh, series, that address 2 in the WLAN header is the transmitter address. And if we create a unique set of all transmitter addresses around, then we get a set of all unique Wi-Fi devices around, right? So let's jump right in. I'm gonna call this script all devices.py. First step, of course, is to put in the imports, import sys, and then from skp.all, import star. Then we have our sniff call. The first argument, of course, is the interface. Let's take this as user input, sys.argv1. The second argument is the count, the number of packets to go through. Again, let's go ahead and take this as user input as argv2. And finally, the third is the callback function or the packet handler routine. Let's call this. Packet handler, right? Now let's define our packet handler here. It receives the packet as input. Now, the first step, of course, is to ensure that this is actually a dot eleven packet, right? So we can do that by checking if pkt has layer dot eleven. And if that is the case, then let's go ahead and uh, get the dot eleven layer, right? Now there are some shortcuts available which we will discuss a little later. In this case, we will go through the long and hard technique, right? So I'm going to say dot eleven layer equals pkt dot get layer dot eleven. Right now, let's also define a set which can hold all the MAC addresses of the Wi Fi devices we are about to discover. Let's call that set devices. Now, here is what we're going to check right if dot eleven underscore layer dot addr two to begin with exists and you also need to ensure that this address right is not in our set of unique devices right not in devices then let's go ahead and add this so we have devices dot add dot eleven underscore layer dot addr two and let's go ahead and print this address. Right, that's it. This should give us the list of all unique devices around. So I hope there aren't any typos. We'll know in just a bit. All devices. On zero, hundred thousand. Let's go ahead and also run error dump ng so that it cycles around. So I'm just done an error dump ng mon zero. And as you can clearly see, we are starting to get the list of all unique MAC addresses around. Fantastic, right? Uh, let's go ahead and put in a number as well for every Mac just so that you know we 
can quickly figure out how many unique devices we've discovered. This should be easy. Just a quick len on devices should give this to us. Right, and now we can quickly see the list of unique Wi-Fi devices around. Now, one of the other interesting things we could check is uh, what packet or really what type of management control or data frame uh, is going ahead and telling us that this is a new Mac, right? So to add that, again, it should be very simple. And this actually derives on what we learned in the last video regarding the payloads. We could just say, hey, dot 11 underscore layer the payload which would actually give us basically the kind of packet dot name right of course this is limited to the kind of packets KP sports so let's go ahead hit this ah now this is a little bit more exciting right so if you notice we are now getting the packet number a unique Wi-Fi MAC address and at the very same time, the actual packet from the, which this MAC address was ripped, right? Fantastic. So you can clearly see with just a few lines of Scapy how we were able to go ahead and create this. Now, let me also discuss some shortcuts. Let's copy this to all devices v2. Now let me open up all devices v2.py right now a couple of shortcuts do exist which you can use if you want which is just with packet you know if you recall we did an ls over pkt and it gave us the different fields and what were available so you could actually do an if pkt.addr2 right and pkt.addr2 not in devices devices.add pkt.addr2 print len devices pkt.addr2 right now this is a quick shortcut by which we can access the MAC address fantastic so now you have both versions Personally, I think in the learning phase, I would really recommend using uh, the whole get layer and all of that because, you know, that ensures that it follows a very logical flow rather than using any quick shortcuts. And I would highly recommend using that technique. Fantastic. So that's all guys for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have, please do recommend Pentester Academy to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.